Hope the Cardinals don't relax because we sure need to play some defense here with 5-0-2. Cardinals leading 7-6 and Somerset threatening. Okay, Jules put wide to the left side. They work from a full house backfield. Cardinals on a goal line defense and the pitch comes back to Perkins, number 26. Perkins gets nothing. May have gotten a half yard, that's all. Lots of Cardinals over there that time. Uh, Chris Biggers, uh, number 22, number 68, David Matting, number 50, Brad Sparks, uh, number 77, Mark Brown. And, uh, Bill, I'll say this for Somerset. Venable is a tremendous back. Uh, you can tell he's the class. Uh, Perkins is an average high school back. But without Venable, they seem to be a different team. They seem to be a little disorganized at this point. Of course, uh, I hope I don't have to eat my words here. The Cardinal defense needs to stiffen. Third and seven, 418 and counting, and the Cardinals leading seven to six, and Somerset once again threatening. Okay, Kane brings him up, uh, sends a man in the slot to the right side. They're really spread out on the field. Handoff goes to Dobbs, the fullback. I believe we'll check it. Uh, he gets maybe a half yard. And it looks like Somerset's going for a field goal, Bill. They, uh, They're good out to 40 yards is what the scouting report reads. So they are going for a field goal for the lead here as uh, end to kick that field goal. And I had this young man uh, written down someplace on my scouting report, if I can find it. Uh, Perkins, I believe, will be the young man doing the kicking. We'll have to wait and see as... Uh, Yes, Virgil Perkins will be kicking, and in the hole will be Jackie Jewell, who plays split in. They'll be kicking it from about the 13-yard uh, line, which would be a 28-yard field goal, and it's up, and it's no good. Off to the right side, so the Cardinals defense holding again, Tommy. And how many times can these young men keep Somerset over that end zone? Gee, I don't know, Bill. I, I hope until the sun come, comes up in the morning, if it be necessary, but you you got to give them all the credit because uh, this defense is once again stiffened. Uh, the, it was not the Cardinal offense that made the mistake that time. It was a Cardinal defensive mistake. Uh, the ball going back to the Cardinals on the 20, but if you recall, it was a long well, gadget play, trick play, that you could, whatever you want to call it, from a split-end pass down to Venable, down to the nine-yard line. And from about that point, uh, Somerset tried a field goal, which was unsuccessful. The Cardinals offense takes over now on our own 20 with uh, 3 minutes and 24 seconds to go. Cardinals leading 7-6. to six. From the wishbone. Boy, long count this time. Hands it off to Hawkins. Hawkins gets the yard. Out to the 21, and that's all. Jeff uh, handing off uh, on that counter option again to Hawkins right up the middle, and Jeff Jackson to block, but nothing there. Boy, I tell you, this defense is still. Well, Moore, Moore, now this kid's name, his first name is spelled M-O-R-R-E-L-L, -L, and his last name's Moore, and I have a hard time with it, but he made the tackle. He is whipping uh, whipping us on the line of scrimmage, and uh, we got to do some blocking, Bill, quick. From the power eye. Boy, it almost fumbled at that time, but gets it back, has it to Jeff Jackson. Jackson gets two yards out to the 23-yard line. It'll be third down and 